Our backs against the wall. I can't block Griff. Please block Griff for me. <laughs> Please. I'll PayPal you um, one dollar sure. right now if you block Griff and then create. <laughs> <laughs> that is one more dollar than I have. I mean, I if you are right, either. it would be one more dollar than you have. <laughs> creativity, baby. Hell yeah! <laughs> What's your, your PayPal? Money. Oh, it's the store! <laughs> ha! You have zero dollars! God <laughs> Actually, okay, 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 okay. So, uh, listen. <laughs> Go uh, to one second, I'm plugging Go to the He's about to get I one dollar. Uh, okay, what were you saying? So, okay, go to the shop, right? You're in the shop. So, there is a free item you can buy. Now, this will either make or break your run. Do you want to exit or do you want to buy it? Okay, let's get it. <laughs> All right. Let's see what you got. Can't be any worse. Uh. <laughs> 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 the shitter. Believe it or not, this is a very religious thing. Oh, you got nothing. You just got a statue of a guy taking a shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh my! I got a statue of some guy taking a fat dump. Are you serious? <laughs> I'm getting some boldness. Fuck your shit. Oh my god. <clears throat> fuck. That day you skip class and just hang out in the bathrooms because you respect no authority. I, I guess that. some people just want to watch the world burn <laughs> by skipping class and hanging out in the bathrooms. <laughs> you give zero shits, but you gain two boldness. Unlike the statue. <laughs> <laughs> One second, can we just read the bathroom stall? Death overrated. <laughs> Eight nine seven twelve seventy five. Jekyll Heart Hyde. About marrying an iron damaged or prince ironically. <laughs> My god, it's so disruptive, it may be the most disruptive thing. Fuck, I can't care. <laughs> <laughs> I guess. I have a funny idea. What? <clears throat> Skipping, like, I'll just skip through this turn, right? And we won't explain that my tone magically vanishes in the, vi in the video. <laughs> oh yeah, we totally <laughs> won't. Just... There, there will be no explanation whatsoever. No explanation, it's just... There's just no tone. There will it's be just... no explanation. <laughs> it's just None. It's, it's, it's just, just... alright, so, Bacon, it's your turn. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, fuck, I'm done to do that. Alright. It, it seamless, okay. seamlessly goes to week four. The concept of you can't marry Mary. Maybe you can't, but it's only because you don't possess the soul of a poet. So authentic. So oh! authentic. <laughs> Marriage in the middle of Am I married? Yeah. Marriage that no one else can marry. It's the most disruptive marriage of all. Slung poses of the flower, precious social construct. Oh, in two creatures. I got creative, bitch. Ah. Let's go. Okay, let's so it's your go. turn, dude. Yeah, dude, yeah. it's your turn. My turn. Uh, obviously, I'm going for smarts again. Put me in the put, class. Put me in that day, you're the first one in class. Wait. You sometimes come early because you enjoy talking to the teacher. He's a bit oh. bitter, but in a cool way. He treats you like an adult, and the two of you discuss life and stuff in a very snarky way. Look at you, excelling at cliche movie tropes. You gain plus two smarts and one valuable life. Insight that will help you face the difficulties of being young. You just happen to be hanging around near Scott, you know, not because you're, like, following him or anything. When suddenly a rift <laughs> opens in time and space and a handsome prince steps through, beckoned in oh, otherworldly no. finery. <laughs> he, 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 he approaches Scott, not this shit again. <laughs> my love. <laughs> not this shit again. <laughs> my beloved. It's my beloved, I have a- <laughs> I have quested across dimensions to see your face. <laughs> no! <laughs> Okay, oh, well, here it is. Here's my face. It is more. Have you guys ever watched the anime Girls Bravo? Like you know the blonde guy. No. Maybe Kiro has. I know Harley has, but he left. Fuck. It is more than just your face that I need, Scott. The great tosser of balls. I also need <laughs> your body. <laughs> Luckily, I brought that with me too. But I do not desire to merely gaze upon your body, though that in itself is a pleasure. My kingdom, you see, is besieged by a foul dire harp, and only your muscles can save us. And once the loathsome beast is vanquished, perhaps we can find some other uses for that body of yours. Wink. Oh my god! That's so cool! 
These two are getting along w- way too well. You need to slay that beast yourself before Scott and the prince spend any more time together. But how? Let's see. Rally a swarm of extra-dimensional termites to devour the dire harp spine, or... I can't read that. Sing so Sing. sweetly that the dire harp kills itself out of jealousy. Okay, so I'm... That has to be charm, and I have a lot of charm. Do that one. Yeah. Not Creep. so creative! <laughs> no, yeah. it's creative! No! <laughs> In launch into a vasting rendition of booty 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 rock everywhere! <laughs> that dire harp being a heart blah 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 your don't creativity, worry, you're, you're almost <laughs> out of boldness. All right, it's my turn. Um, you know what? Yeah. Um, what, do, what, do, what do I have? You I have am... money, you have fun, and you have charm. I have high points in almost any everything, actually. You got decent stats, but it's like a nice late game where you're going to want tens and everything, so it's like... I'm going to go with charmed. That day, an epic dodgeball match takes place. Many people fall during the battle. You can't take any more, so you've... Valiantly go straight to the other team's leader and start negotiations for a truce. After hours of intense diplomacy, you commit to an agreement. What an unexpected twist. You gain plus 10 righteousness, but this game is so wrong in so many ways that you would be lucky if you could do anything with that. And plus 2 charm. Hey, boo. Hey, Kalama, darling. It's me, a lovely fan favorite, Polly. You know, I wasn't always a ghost. Yeah, yeah, this is about to get real. Hear me out. I used to be alive, but I died with unfinished business. Now I gotta live forever like this until I finish it. Or until you piss off a priest. And you might ask, what's your (laughs) unfinished business, fan favorite lovely Polly? I guess I can tell you. I never did a reverse Romanian Wilkeson? What What? the fuck is that? A dance, I think? Probably having sex with a guy named Wilkinson and reverse (laughs) Ugh, Okay. You know, sexually. Yeah, you were right. You were oh, right. I How did I do that? Uh, don't get me wrong. I love being immortal and walking through walls and shit. Through walls disappear and fly. It was much more unique than that. Okay, <laughs> stop it, daddy. Hey, she's a phantom. <laughs> but my soul will never truly rest until I do that freaky sex move. Oh, well. I've done that one loads of times. Just name a time and a place and I'll reverse all over your Romanian Wilkinson. Throw a smoke bomb and escape while leaving a replica of yourself. <laughs> uh... I think... Yes! Ooh! Hey! <laughs> yes! Yes! Finally, someone as well-versed in freaky sex as I am. At least I can be free of my eternal <laughs> g- ghostly prison or whatever. Or but mostly, a sex god. <laughs> freaky sex! Alright, it's on. You know, it's weird. Moving on. Alright, it's on. Prom night. You don't okay. miss much. Eh. You bring the supplies, I'll bring all my experience. Sex experience. And hey, purge the zucchini, Admiral. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about. Whoa. See you soon. She totally phased out. Oh boy, you might have just gotten yourself tickets to the wildest night of your life. But what the <laughs> fuck is a reverse Romanian <laughs> Wilkinson? And what are the supplies? For now, you at least gain plus three fun. Oh, you have a lot of fun. Oh shit. Something, right, happened, something happened to who? Oh shit. Oh fuck. Okay, well... Oh, uh, what happened oh, to Zombie Man? This one's gonna be a sabotage, I think. You're engaging in your favorite weekend activity, ignoring anything in favor of thinking about which classmate you'd like to take to prom and how horny you are. When you find out this is apparently reading... Uh, this is apparently reading on your face. I'm, I'm upset. Hey, Hulk, you seem pretty horny and like someone who sits around all day thinking about what you're going to... T- or who you're going to take to prom. Wow, does she have your number or what? Listen, I'm kind of interested in someone, but honestly, I don't think I could be with any monster who isn't spectacular at sex. I know sex isn't everything, but it's sort of everything to me. Not really, but it's pretty high on my list of priorities. Sorry if this is too much information. Titil- oh, titillating monster interaction. (laughs) But it's someone you know, so I thought you might have some insight. It's Kalop- I swear to God, Kira. Mm. If you actually do Mm. this- I will unsubscribe from your YouTube. I will unsubscribe. I just love sex. Any position. Missionary, clergy, apocalyptic, upside down nightmare demon, the pentagram. What do you think? Could Kalama keep up with me? So, 
You can say- No, don't say anything, Griff. I'm gonna read the options and you pick. I can only say this. She is the okay. discoverer of the orgasm. Actually, the whole thing is named after her. Haven't you ever noticed that orgasm is an anagram of Kalama? Close. <laughs> it's close, actually. It is surprisingly close. It has the three A's. It has the M, but the yeah, L and the A. Are you kidding me? Once I asked her what she thought sex was about, don't ask me why, and she told me that it was the natural process for most living beings to conceive children. She has no idea. So, are you going to help out Griff as a douchebag, or are you going to sabotage Griff as a douchebag? I'm gonna help him out. Hey. Finally, you're not sushi! <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> Fuck you, you could've picked me earlier, but didn't, cunt! Alright. Well, I mean, it was smart! <laughs> I'll, I'll, get, I'll give you two dollars on PayPal now. <laughs> <laughs> Just send the email address and I'll get it to you right away. Kalama? Yeah, sure, it's D.I. Orgasm? <laughs> oh my god, you're totally right. I've never even noticed that before. Like, actually, it still makes no sense to me. But I'm going to assume that's <laughs> because I'm high and it's super legit on that <laughs> on the level. You seem to know your letters and words. I'm sure it'll make sense once I sober up. Kalama invented the <laughs> orgasm? Eh. I'm a fan of going straight to the source. I only buy... Opium from the dude who first discovered it. Being dead rocks. It sure does, does it? Meh. Important thing is Kalama, aka Orgasm, totally owes you one. Not one orgasm, just a general one. You know what I mean. Oh, and you gain plus three fun. Yeah. Let's trade places. All right, trading places. Challenge. Everyone choose a historical figure. Say your choice out loud to the rest of the players before clicking. Everyone picks him. I'm going to say... Bob Ross. I'd say it's pretty historic. Okay. My Michael Jackson. Sushi? Uh, I don't know if I want to be a bad person or not. Be the worst. Um, Matthew McConaughey. I don't know. Uh, I will pick Anubis. I'm, is he still alive? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he is. But he's going down in the history. I pick Anubis. <laughs> Player orders yeah, decided based on who would be the most terrible wingman at a bar. <laughs> Matthew McConaughey <laughs> steals all your girls. I don't know, Bob Ross. Bob Ross would be a pretty good he wingman. He's a smooth, silky... His Bob smooth, Ross. Silky, silky, what, did you, what did you pick, Kiro? Michael Jackson. <laughs> Michael, like, all three of yours is a good wingman. Anubis would, like, curse him or some shit. <laughs> You're not wrong about that. You're not wrong. <laughs> So, I'm just saying, okay. You're not wrong. Okay, out of Matthew McConaughey, Michael Jackson, and Bob Ross, who is the worst wingman? Well, Michael actually, Jackson's- Actually, no, Bob Ross is not- Actually, no, Matthew McConaughey, Bob Ross, and a uh, third guy, they're not good because they steal women. Yeah, but which one is worse than the others? That's the thing. Michael is. I guess, like, Michael would be the worst. All right, Kiro second. <laughs> Okay, Matthew McConaughey or Bob Ross? Bob Ross would be a pretty good wingman. But actually, yeah, no, Bob Ross is like, he's not like, he's, he's, he's chill and he's just very fucking- Make Yeah, he'd be the cloud. best wingman, yeah, so- Look at this happy yeah. little mountain. Look at this happy little girl All right. right week yeah. three morning. We're, we're almost Let's do there. This. All Speed right. <laughs> hmm. Where should I go? That's the question. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna buy hey, something. Stranger. Hey. It's been a while. I've missed you. It's okay. You can look at my stuff. <laughs> uh, <laughs> a sexy fake Latin accent. What is this again? A uh, charm. In the book. Smarts. In the uh, stabby thing. And the other one is just a random make or break. And that's a tampon. <laughs> Only buy the tampon if you're going for Vera. Okay, so. Uh. Hmm. <clears throat> Oh, uh, by the tape. Oh. Summertime, like a oven. <laughs> Maybe why don't you be mine? And the, remember, <laughs> remember the first, the first rule. rule. Shop club, no refunds. Um, sure. All right. Uh, sure. <clears throat> Let's go creativity. I like you can see the guy shifting. <laughs> You're still blocking grip on creativity. <laughs> oh, that's it. That day, while rehearsing for the class play, you can't help but feel that you're not as good as the role requires you to be. There doesn't I seem to be any outfit. ordinary way of getting yourself there, but there might be an extraordinary way. You summon the devil, one of many, and make a deal to enhance your creativity just a bit. You gain plus two creativity. You also lose <laughs> minus three years of life as your end Why of the deal. Green? But who cares? They weren't happening in game anyway. What was that green? That means you lost plus three in real life. Why is that good? 
You're intrigued by your new little toy when you feel the temperature oddly rising. You are catching a fever, or is uh, it? What's up? Hey, dumbass. What's that? <laughs> hmm. Huh? Why are you playing with a little guy taking a shit? Is it some kind of weird <laughs> new... <laughs> is it some is it some kind of weird new GI Joe? That's authentic. Ah, <coughs> oh, a, a classic mistake. No, it's called a cargo. You wouldn't know, of course. It means shit up. It's a religious thing. Spanish region of Catalonia. Mm -hmm. Oh my god, that would have been great for you. Kira, you can read him. Griff took you. Well, uh, I didn't realize what character. Uh, oh, so I'm for... reading Damien. Not Damien, uh, Liam. <coughs> Kira. Wait, rewind. How is this poopy boy religious? Uh, uh, well, you know the nativity scene, right? Catholic people are reenacting Jesus' birth on all during Christmas. Lame. <laughs> Shut up. The thing is, in Catalonia, Christians build the nativity scene for Christmas with Mary, baby Jesus, the animals, and of course, some random guy taking shit nearby. <laughs> 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 oh, is this some kind of prank or something? Oh, no. It's a very serious thing among Catalans. If you want to make the nativity scene, you better include the Kagano. It is a culturally respectful thing to do. Whoa, that's crazy! Ha! Respectful to whom? God damn it, this is priceless. Kagainer? Love it. The ultimate action figure. I mean, it fucking beats the lame, the lamest out of Christianity or every, and everything. One could say that, I guess. But why did these uh, kind of people decide to put a guy taking a shit next to the birth of Jesus Christ? <laughs> hmm. Good question. Nobody knows. It's a tradition that has been there for centuries, but nobody knows its origins. <laughs> Catalan people just go for it because it's been done like that since forever. Actually, I'm going to Google this. This is an actual thing. <laughs> nobody knows why they put the, the yes, shit in it's a real this. thing. <laughs> and yet it they've a... done it for centuries? I must know. Gah! This intrigue is killing me! Gah! Wow, it really looks as if it was about to kill him by giving him a seizure. Maybe you can help solve the mystery. Catch a real shitter and interrogate them about it. Get into the mind of the shitter by reenacting the scene. So would you like to find uh, someone taking a shit or just take a shit where you boldness. stand? This is the bottom one. I, th I think they're both boldness. Uh, the top one. Let's catch the shitter and interrogate it. So bold. Before Damien's head implodes, you take both him and Liam into your car. And just to be clear, by your car, I mean just a car. But fuck the concept of ownership, am I right? You drive to a nearby gas station, rush into the public restrooms, and draw an innocent guy who's taking... <laughs> <laughs> then you drive to the nearest police station and politely ask to use one of their interrogation rooms as you've been an exemplar monster citizen lately by committing not that many murders they decide to reward you with the best interrogation room and so you go into full interrogation mode by playing the classic bad cop worst cop strategy worst cop <gasps> you fucko tell us the truth why do the Catalan Catalan put a shitter dude next to the birth of Jesus well, what <laughs> who are you why am I here no, actually, that's the narrator. What? Who you are you? Why am I here? I need to finish pooping, please. You won't finish. You won't finish shit until you answer us. Go. Damien then hits the random guy with a rolled newspaper. Uh, you do realize this plan makes zero sense, right? <laughs> His confession makes zero sense, and you, you better start spilling the tea, or we'll punish you in ways you never imagined. Punished. Who are these Catalans? I swear I never poop next to Jesus. I just want to go back to my family and also <laughs> finish pooping, please. This poor gentleman. Yeah, yeah. Never poop next to Jesus. That's what everyone. You know what? My patient says. Is that a limit? Give me that. Damien steals the poor guy's passport and starts doodling on it. See, uh. I'm not bluffing, fucko. Now you're banned from visiting Sweden. <laughs> you fucking idiot. You can start to forget about visiting Portugal. The dude starts crying, even though all Damien has done is doodled an angry face in his passport and scribbled, I'm a stupid fucko on it. Enough. <laughs> can we just 
career. This isn't going nowhere. Mm. What, well, Liam? Sometimes you're right. Sometimes justice is not served. This is a grim, dark world. Let's regroup and think of a way to crack this case. Yeah, crack. Uh, finally. Brad! And you, Hulk. Brilliant plan. You're like the ultimate detective or something, but this seems to be a fucking mother of all mysteries. <laughs> I think we have a long way ahead. Get ready and buy some snacks. <laughs> it was definitely a dumb plan, but whatever. You got to steal a car and make some weird memories of Damien and Liam. Cheers to that. You gain plus two smarts and plus one boldness. Let's go. My turn. All right. Um. That was fucking. I have really high smarts right now. I don't think I need any more smarts. So let's go to the gym. You can get some charm. I mean, you have pretty high charm, too. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I'd work uh, on, like... Who, who needs all the other things? Who are you go Who are you going for? You're going for Scott. I'm going for Scott. You're going to want charm and fun, I think. By the way, uh, just saying I... that characters do have a stat requirement. Let's go to fun, then. Okay. Uh <clears throat> That day, during recess, you start a half-hour rave that goes full crazy. You're casually chatting with Juan, Juan the, the small, small magical, magical Latino, Latino cat. cat. <laughs> you start telling him that hilarious story of what happened last summer at Monster Camp. That's a terrible movie. You know which one? The one involving the beehive and the blow-up doll of the president? Why are you having a- why do you have a blow-up doll of Donald Trump? <laughs> the penguin mask I, the the I mean, I'd, I'd rather a blow up doll of Donald Trump than a blow up doll of Biden, thank you. You know? Because I would the Biden doll would sniff me. But you think about this. Think about it this way. You could have anyone else but those two. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> the penguin mask and the mystery of the Goblin King. Slowly, lots of people start joining you to hear the story. By the time you say where the Goblin King was, a hundred people are so <laughs> burst into hysterical laughter. You turn on a mobile app that captures all the laughter and turns it into plus two fun. God damn. Later, you hear an unmistakable growling that can only mean one thing. Intergalactic lions have broken through space <laughs> to devour one of the smaller, weaker students. No way! It's just the wolf pack. Guess it could have meant two things. Who the fuck is this? That's his brother. For the last time, is this a bromance or a bro treason, broski? You're really my teammates and my family. And I'm not trying to be a bad Scott, but... This is the third month in a row you've missed our full moon bro-down! We bro got down. together and practiced a wolf pyramid and then helped each other inject sheep steroids! <laughs> <laughs> we played flip cup with lamb's blood and spiked with natty ice! That all sounds really nice, but I already had plans and didn't want to let people down. One of us! One of us! Bro, you're a wolf! Are you with the wolf pack? Or are you with those other monsters? Oh damn, you're one of those other monsters. You better do something. Let Let's see. <laughs> Extremely long distance fetch. Guys, Let's guys, see. guys, on the inside, aren't we all wolf? Yeah, no, it's gotta be the top one. It's just the Not oh. so creepy! No! <laughs> no! <laughs> you're making all kinds of poor choices! <laughs> I am! Bro, really? You think a little game of fetch is really gonna work on us? <laughs> because it will! We love fetch! Scott, oh, not Scott. now, bro! Scott Play it cool! Play it cool! You hold up the headless kitten squeaky toy you always keep on hand, just in case. Immediately, you are tackled by five wolves. Hops. It turns out that five wolves is something you are no match for, strength-wise. The wolf pack scramble over each other. Feet, paws, hands, tails all colliding against each other and against you. Give it here! Give it here! Give it here! <laughs> <laughs> I got it! <laughs> Way to go, bro! But you're not gonna keep it! The wolf pack chases after Scott. They seem to be having an amazing time. Why did you think encouraging a bunch of dog jocks to play fetch together would make you seem like a good alternative? You lose minus two charm and minus two creativity. No! Who? Alright! My dude. Okay. I need some charm. I, I need some charm or some fun, Jesus Christ. 
<laughs> that day, Damn. an epic dodgeball match takes place. Amidst the battle, you spot a fellow player that seems utterly discouraged. She thinks she's not worth anything at dodgeball, and she attempts to throw a ball at herself. <laughs> You explain to her the many ways you think she's unique and wonderful while also defending the many pleasures in life. With your help, she's capable of finding reasons to keep playing and gains a sense of self-worth. You gain one BFF. Sadly, she's not part of this game, so that beautiful friendship will take place off screen. Oh. And plus two charm. You notice Liam and Miranda talking oh. to Coach. They actually seem to be enjoying gym for a change. Oh no, it's Coach. Something must be terribly wrong. You go over to see what it is. Youth is a gift! <laughs> <laughs> we got the tiger! The mighty, mighty tiger! <laughs> They're great! Well now, I'm all for inspiring athleticism in the hearts of the youth, but allowing you to make up your own sport? That seems a bit unorthodox, don't you think? Oh, but ordinary sports are ever so dumb and ever fun. I'm sure we two could do much better. I thought, actually, I have an idea for a sport. Since before there even were sports, I call it art. No teams, <laughs> no rules, just pure creative expression. I'll be the quarterback, of course. I'm pretty, and we will play it with watercolors and sequins, and I just can't give a shit anymore. I fucking... <laughs> 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 it's good to see you kids getting enthusiastic about wholesome physical exercise, but I gotta say, art doesn't really sound like a sport. Why doesn't it have the word ball anywhere? <clears throat> That's easily solved. We call it art ball. Are you saying that hockey is in a sport? Hockey ball <laughs> is their full name. <laughs> 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 oh, well, yes. Obviously, that's much better, but let me ask you this. How do you score points in art ball, huh? Liam and Miranda both look at each other totally stumped. Their dreams hang in the balance. Time to step in. Obviously, the sports bar assigns inspirational kicks to the metaphysical linebacker and scores 11 points for each poem he successfully publishes in the Atlantic. Didn't you read the rule book? Don't you see? The points were inside of us all along. <laughs> I'm going to fail both. Yeah. Not so charming. Yeah. I like how I'm the only one who has high points and everything. You're a master. The question is, how do you get those points out? Out of you and onto the scoreboard. It's like I always say, sports is the lemon juicer, and you're the lemon, buddy. Now let's make lemonade. Great. <laughs> we. <clears throat> but you can't make lemonade without a little sugar, which stands for the sweetness of what the fuck. Can't we? You also. <laughs> He's just fucking <laughs> talking about how to make lemonade. He's <laughs> just <laughs> going. It's <laughs> why hydration is important. What were we talking about again? Uh, oh, who cares? Let's do some push-ups. Nothing brings people together like push-ups. That's what they said in the army all the time. <laughs> you must be pretty close. It's too fun and one charm. Uh, all right, deciding the order. Challenge. Everyone chooses a part of their body. Say your choice out loud to the rest of the players before clicking. Foot. Um, weenus. I, I knew someone was going to say the weenus. Penis. <laughs> <laughs> Penis weenus. Foot. Uh, Somebody's got to call out the vagina now. Oh, sh uh, it's not a part of my body, is it? You got to call a part of your body. Yeah. I swear to God, if it says measure. <laughs> just say vagina. I was going to say gluteus. Okay. okay. Yeah, we know you probably wouldn't eat another human being, but provided you're forced to do so, player order is decided based on which part of the I person's win. body you would be most likely to eat. The gluteus is the biggest muscle in the body. It's like... Yeah. Also, that eat That is ass. true. <laughs> that so is not, true. I win. <laughs> so none of y'all want to eat my dick? No. No. <laughs> I honestly probably have the very tail end, so I'm last more than likely. Weenus. Weenus provides no nutritional value compared exactly. to the gluteus. That's why I'm last. Dicks provide a little bit more, and the foot is, of course, bigger, so... Alright, we got three more to go. Let's please solve it. Yeah. Okay. Don't know! That says my character. <laughs> <laughs> you bitch! But... You Sorry. bitch! Sorry. 
Just because you wouldn't eat my dick, I lost out of my character. May I'm eating my own ass, okay? Thank you for watching the video. Before I hand it to Kari, though, I gotta give a quick shout out and thank you to some of my patrons. Thank you to Sifios, Deadman2112, Henry Kalhoff, Omero Aguilar. Still don't know if I'm pronouncing that right. Jerry Sparks, Jesse Kimmel. Joe underscore Grizzly 19, Jaunty Joe Star, Lachlan, Matt Eason, Randy Adair, Roy, Sir Knight Benz, Spaghetti O Dick, Sterling Scott, and of course, Thick Boy Hobo. There are no words strong enough to express how grateful I am for your guys' support, and I really appreciate it. Thank you so much. Anyway, I think Kari has something she'd like to say. So guys, Kari here. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you want to see more, check out our previous video here. Or if you'd like to support the channel, check out our Patreon here. There's also a video that was picked up by YouTube just for you. And lastly, you can click here to subscribe. We'll see you in the next video. Peace off!